So this property was purchased by my great, 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 great grandfather in 1883. We were still a monarchy at that time. This is how far back. My dad bought it about 1950, uh, slightly before I think it was 49. He's farmed that area ever since off and on. McKenna, I believe, had about 10 families. Most of them were Hawaiian. What McKenna was like back then, my father was a farmer. He raised hogs, he had a lot of hogs. The families that lived here primarily lived off the land. Most of them fish. They had chickens in their yard. The roads were dirt. We shared a lot with the neighbors. We never locked our doors or the windows. People went to each other's house and if they weren't home, they just left whatever they brought there. Somewhere around 1950, uh, McKenna started changing. McKenna was urbanized. They start developing and zoning places for lots. This is the start of the hotels. And by about 1970, the hotels were up. The development is changing more to high-end houses, condos. Most of these places have gates and walls, and we're not used to that kind of thing. It's changed. When you look at the growing changes of the community, across the street of Paipu is an 18-hole golf course. You know, and around the properties around are multi-million dollars with very different kinds of home and living style. The whole economy of the community has become very high upscale. And here we are, an old established family, still farming the land. And so the tax keeps going up and up because the value of everybody else is going up and up. Our taxes are being elevated because there's people coming here, buying the land, building a house, living in it for a year, and then selling it. For them, it's profit that they can make. One of the primary challenges that our generational families experienced is people purchasing properties within the district, within the area, and causing property taxes to skyrocket. Today's taxes are right around 69,000. 69,000 is like $200 a day, yeah. taxes. How we operate here is, is we have to run a wedding business to pay out taxes. Just to keep the land, it, it takes a lot of effort for us to do you know, wedding activities just so that we can simply pay that bill. We decided to sell the other two properties to build this. So some of the pieces were sold down the landing so they could afford to build the property here alongside our family grave site. What keeps us connected to this place is that we know that the generations before us have lived and, as a family, contributed to that cultural footprint of McKenna. My connection to this place is home, and that's all we know, we, we knew, it's just home. Even though it's changed from nothingness to a very crowded place, but yeah, this is just nothing but home. We'd really like to see some kind of tax relief that allows the county to continue to support long-standing families on, our, on Aina that can continue to live in the communities that they've been in for many generations. What I'm looking at proposing soon is uh, legislation that will help to ease the property tax burden for the families. There are definitely steps you can take that can provide much needed critical relief for Ohana like the Kukahikos. You know, I think what's really important is you know, the dedicated and thoughtful leadership from our policymakers, you know, the continued tenacity and resilience um, from Ohana like the Kukahikos, and maybe most importantly, continued engagement from the larger community. Even though times have changed, that we don't have to coexist in a situation where you have to be a multimillionaire, that's not going to happen for many local families. Most local families, most Hawaiian families, and Hawaiian families like ours that may have a similar situation where they have Aina that's been in their family for generations and want to do what we want to do to continue to pass that Aina on. What are our options to pass on that history and love for our land to our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren.